This is the 2015 Agri CXC Pass Paper Paper 1. Let's get straight into the questions. Question number one. Marketing can best be described as A. Value added farm products. B. Selling goods produced on the farm at a marketplace. C. Buying goods from the market to be sold to exporters. D. Moving goods and services from producer to consumer. The answer is D. Moving goods and services from producer to consumer. The marketing department main responsibility is to get goods to the consumer. Whatever needs to be done to get goods to the consumer is called marketing. Question number two. Gross domestic product is the total value of A. Goods consumed by a country B. Services provided to other countries C. Goods and services produced in a country D. Goods and services sold to other countries The answer is C. Goods and services produced in a country The main difference between the gross domestic product and the gross national product is that the gross domestic product speaks about the production of goods and services within a country while the gross national product speaks about the production of goods and services within a country plus the foreign exchange earnings. Question number three, a regional institution which provides undergraduate and graduate studies in agriculture is the A. University of West Indies, UWI, B. Guyana School of Agriculture, GSA, C. College of Agriculture, Science and Education, Case, D. Eastern Caribbean Institute of Agriculture and Forestry, ECIAF. The answer is A. University of the West Indies. More than one branches of the University of West Indies can be found in the Caribbean. Case is a local institution, so only found in Jamaica. Question number four. Which of the following constraints affecting agriculture cannot be remedied by the government? A. Lack of infrastructure. B. Trade barriers. C. Land tenure. D. Topography. The answer is D. Topography. Topography is the slope of the land or we would say the shape of the land whether it's hilly or flat or slightly sloping now that's nature that is created by topography is basically created by nature the government cannot do anything about that question number five which of the following statements refers to the role of haccp one focuses on identifying and preventing the contamination of food two ensures safe handling of food Three encourages improvement in the quantity of produce. A one and two only B one and three only C two and three only D one two and three. The answer is A one and two only. So the HACCP those are really a set of rules that are, are policies that are carried out in the manufacturing process to make sure consumers have safe food. The GAP now would ensure the improvement in the quantity of produce. But the HACCP it deals with the safety or hazard analysis of the food. Question number six. Legumes are especially important in organic crop farming because they A. are easy to cultivate B. provide a good cover C. promote nitrogen fixation D. have a high market demand The answer is C. promote nitrogen fixation So basically nitrogen fixation is when nitrogen gas in the atmosphere is converted to nitrates by the use of bacteria in the soil Those bacteria are normally found in the root nodules of legume plants such as beans, peas, etc. Question number seven. Which of the following can be done to speed up the breakdown of organic matter in a compost heap? A. Gather dead plants and animals faster. B. Light a fire on top to create more heat. C. Add water to the compost when it is dry. D. Allow a long time to pass before applying another layer. The answer is C. Add water to the compost when it is dry. The water basically encourages growth of encourages the growth of microorganisms, so that's why water would be added to the compost. Microorganisms will basically break down those organic matter. Question number eight: The growing of crops without soil is called a organic farming, b fraud culture, c tissue culture, d hydroponics. The answer is d hydroponics. The term I just stands for water. Question number nine: The purchase price of a rotavator is twenty thousand dollars. It has a salvage value of five thousand dollars and a useful life of ten years. What is its annual rate of depreciation? A five hundred dollars. B one thousand five hundred dollars. C five thousand dollars. D fifteen thousand dollars. The answer is B one thousand five hundred dollars. So the formula that 
will be used is the cost minus the salvage divided by the useful life so that's 20,000 minus 5,000 over 10 divided by 10 so 20,000 minus 5,000 would be 15,000 divided by 10 which is $1,500 per year so what that is saying is that the machine will lose a value of $1,500 per year the salvage value salvage value means the scrap value of the material so after depreciation after it has been depre depre depreciated the, the cost of the machine now the scrap the scrap value so the scrap value is five thousand dollars and that machine will lose one thousand five hundred dollars per year question number 10 which of the following is not a fixed cost a fuel b taxes c machinery d depreciation the answer is a fuel a fixed cost is a cost that does not change with the level of production or that item is not converted into the production process question number 11 which of the following is not considered a factor of production a land b capital c marketing d management the answer is c marketing marketing basically falls on the management question number 12 Item 12 refers to the following graph showing demand curves. The curve D1 to D1 represents A. A decrease in demand. B. An increase in demand. C. An elasticity of demand. D. An inelasticity of demand. The answer is B. An increase in demand. Please remember that when the demand curve moves to the right, that represents an increase in demand. When the curve moves to the left, that means it's reflecting a decrease in demand question number 13 which of the following international bodies acts as a mediator among countries on trade issues a international seabed authority b world trade organization c environmental protection agency d international trade organization the answer is b world trade organization Question number 14. Which of the following is least important when a farmer is applying for a loan? A. A land survey. B. Credit history. C. Collateral. D. A budget. The best answer is D. A budget. You have different types of loans. So you have secured loans and you have unsecured loans. A secured loans, you would use a collateral. If you are going to do a secured loan, you would use a collateral. If you are going to use a collateral, for example, a piece of land, then the value of the land will determine the amount of money that you can borrow. So if you are going to use land, the banker will basically tell you to do a valuation report and a survey as report to make sure everything is okay with the land. So the land will determine the amount of money that you can be able to borrow. In that case, a budget is not needed initially. If it's an unsecured loan now, then you don't need a collateral or a surveyor's report or a valuation report. Question number 15. A plan indicating how the farmer intends to invest his resources is best referred to as A. A budget B. An inventory C. A capability map D. An expenditure account. The answer is A. A budget. A budget is basically a financial plan and it comprises of parts such as the expenditure, income, profit or loss. Question number 16. Some farming programs are often ineffective because the subsidy grant is 1. Not made available at the right time. 2. Not enough to cover the intended purpose. 3. To be repaid immediately. A. 1 only. B. 1 and 2 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 1, 2 and 3. The answer is B, 1 and 2 only. A subsidy is a grant from the government, meaning either money or items are given to the farmers from the government. And once that is a grant, it does not have to be repaid. Question number 17. A farmer wants to know the number of tools on her farm. Which record should she check? A, labor. B, financial. C, inventory. D, production. The answer is C, inventory. An inventory is a listing of all the items that the farm owns. Question number 18. Items 18 and 19 refers to the following economic terms. A, net profit. B, gross margin. C, gross farm income. D, fixed expenses. Match each item below with one of the options above. An option may be used once, more than once, or not at all. 18. Total income. The answer is C. Gross farm income. Gross farm income means the income that are presented, that are incurred before the deduction of tax. 
Question number 19. Total income minus total expenditure. The answer is A. Net profit. So the net profit would basically refer to as the income after all the expenses are deducted. So that will either show you a profit or a loss. Question number 20. Which of the following statements describe a partial budget? 1. It contains only those items and expenditure which change and not total values. 2. It is used in situation that requires a change in the farm plan. 3. The profitability of different farms can be compared. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 1, 2 and 3. The answer is A. 1 and 2 only. Question number 21. A soil sample was collected from a school farm and found to be very high in potential hydrogen hoins. This indicates that the soil most likely A has a high calcium content, B is alkaline, C is neutral, D is acidic. The answer is D is acidic. If you can recall the pH scale, now the pH stands for potential hydrogen, which is the H plus ion. Now the more of those potential hydrogen or H plus ions in the soil, or any sample at all, it means the soil is acidic. The least amount, it means the soil is alkalinic. Question number 22. A bag of mixed fertilizer has a grade of 7 to 14 to 21. What is the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus in this fertilizer? A, 1 to 2. B, 3 to 1. C, 2 to 3. D, 3 to 2. The answer is A, 1 to 2. Now in the ratio, in terms of fertilizer, it is standard are universal so the first number will represent nitrogen the second ratio would represent phosphorus the third one the 21 is potassium so in finding the answer it simplify the ratio so you find the smallest number which is 7 7 into itself 1 7 into 14 2 7 in, in, into 21 is 3 so the ratio is a 1 to 2 to 3 so the answer is a 1 to 2 because it's nitrogen and phosphorus it asks about Question number 23. Which of the following are found in the root nodules of leguminous plants? A. Fungi. B. Viruses. C. Bacteria. D. Actinomycetes. The answer is C. Bacteria. The bacteria that is responsible for carrying out nitrogen fixation is the nitrogen fixing bacteria. Question number 24. The presence of drains in a field or its periphery. A. Increases erosion. B. Decreases erosion. C. Controls weed growth. D. Improves field sanitation the answer is b decreases erosion when you put drains in your field or around your field you're actually taking water from the soil you're taking the excess water from off their soil so when you put drains in your field it is used to control water erosion question number 25 rainfall pattern over the last 10 years can be used as a an inventory record b a production record c a financial record d a prediction tool the answer is d a prediction tool now remember that an inventory is a listing of all that the farmers own or all that the farm own so the amount of tools their condition etc a production record would be telling you the increase it would record things like how many seeds you started with how many plants you have at the end of the production process the financial record would give you the cost of all or the expenses of all the items purchased and it would give you the income of all the sales you make so those are the basically the definition of the records question Number 26. Which of the following need to be checked before operating a tractor? 1. Pressure in tires. 2. Coolant level. 3. Operator age. 4. Oil leaks in seal. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1 and 4 only. D. 3 and 4 only. The answer is C. 1 and 4 only. Question number 27. The transfer of pollen grains from the anther of one plant to the stigma of another plant of the same or closely related species is known as a self-pollination b wind pollination c cross-pollination d insect pollination the answer is c cross-pollination once there are two plants that are involved in the process that's cross-pollination question number 28 the development of roots on a stem to form a new plant while it is still attached to the parent plant is known as a budding B. Layering. C. Grafting. D. Cutting. The answer is B. Layering. Also remember that you um there are two types of layering. Ground layering and ear layering. The one that is called circumposing or marketing. That's the ear layering. Question number 29. The process by which plants lose water in the form of vapor to the air is called A. 
absorption b respiration c transpiration d translocation the answer is c transpiration question number 30 plants that do not respond to day length are described as a long day b short day c day neutral d autotrophic the answer is c day neutral long day plants normally responded to the length of the day now the longer the day those plants will blossom short day plants the shorter the day those plants will blossom or flower question number 31 selection of corn seeds in high yielding plants may result in a increased fertilization b disease resistance c better meiosis d hybridization the best answer is d hybridization so when you have an hybridized plant it will have all the following items above that are above it from a b and c so hybridization is when you get a genotype that is different it's not a purebred you have a mixed gene plant one that is very vigorous and productive question number 32 an organism can have genes added to its dna to improve food production this process is called a cloning b mutation c tissue culture d genetic engineering the answer is D, genetic engineering. Now once you are speaking about altering the DNA, that's genetic engineering. Question number 33. The practice of gathering soil around the base of the stem of the plant is called A, layering, B, molding, C, mulching, D, ear layering. The answer is B, molding. Question number 34. Farmer Derek has a farm and 20 hectares of land. He cultivates vegetables and irrigates his crop with water from a pan in which he reared tilapia and duck. Which of the following best describe this practice? A. Mixed farming. B. Mixed cropping. C. Plantation system. D. Monoculture system. The answer is A. Mixed farming. Question number 35. Farmer does as an excess of pesticide after spraying his crop. The best way for him to take care of this of his pesticide is to A. Wash the sprayer at another location. B. Store it in a labeled container for future use. C. Pour it into a container and burn it. D. Store it into the sprayer for future use. The answer is B. Store in it in a labeled container for future use. Question number 36. The organism microplasma is the causative agent for A. Scab B. Damping off C. Mosiac virus D. Ethyl yellowing The answer is D. Ethyl yellowing Question number 37 In the agricultural sector, quarantine usually results in A. A reduction in the quality of produce due to pests and diseases B. An increase in the quantity of produce due to useful pests C. The production and spread of disease causing organisms from one place to another D. The prevention and control of the spread of disease causing organisms from one place to another The answer is D. The prevention and control of the spread of disease causing organisms from one place to another question number 38 which of the following is the maturity index for tomato a change in color of the fruit b yellowing of leaves c onset of flowering d size of the leaves the answer is a change in the color of the fruit maturity indexes those are the signs you'd look for when the, the fruits are mature when are they ready to be harvested? So there are certain signs that they will show when they are ready to be harvested. So that is what is called maturity index. Question number 39. The keeping quality of cut anturium flowers could be extended by placing them in A. Top water B. Spring water C. A salt solution D. A sugar solution. The answer is A. Top water. Question number 40. The technique which can be used to remove the water content of a crop is A. Drying B. Freezing C. Preserving. D. Fermenting. The answer is A. Drying. Question number 41. The process that involves regurgitation, remastication, and re-swallowing of food by ruminants is called A. Ingestion. B. Ingestion. C. Peristalsis. D. Chewing of the cud. The answer is D. Chewing of the cud. So when you hear someone says the goat is chewing its cud or the cow is chewing its cud, it means it's bringing up the food from the rumen. You call that regurgitation and then chew it again and re-swallow. Question number 42. Item 42 refers to the following diagram showing part of the digestive tract of poultry. Which of the parts labeled 1, 2, 3, 4 is the proventriculus? A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. D4. The answer is C3. One would be the esophagus, two would be the crop, 
3 is the proventriculus and 4 is the gizzard. Question number 43. In a non-ruminant animal, gastric juice is produced in the A. Liver B. Ileum C. Stomach D. Duodenum The answer is C. Stomach Question number 44. The main mineral found in a bird's eggshell is A. Iron B. Calcium C. Potassium D. Phosphorus The answer is B. Calcium Question number 45. Broiler birds are slaughtered at 6 weeks old. The most suitable ration for a 5 week old broiler is a. Layer B. Starter C. Grower D. Finisher The answer is D. Finisher The chicken normally grow faster at 1 to 4 weeks old so they would give them the growing ration which will have a lot of protein but once they reach 5 weeks old near to slaughtering it that feed the finisher would have a lot of fat so you will give them that feed the finisher that has a lot of fat Question number 46 Which of the following is most suitable for making A. A. Bermuda grass, B. Elephant grass, C. Guinea grass, D. Paragrass. The answer is B. Elephant grass. Question number 47. A bridal farmer uses the formula total kilogram of feed eaten over total kilogram of live weight times 100 to calculate A. G. M. P. B. L. C. R. C. F. C. R. D. G. A. P. The answer is D. F. C. R. Which is feed conversion ratio. Question number 48. Which of the following forages is a legume? A. Kudzu. B. Pangola. C. African star. D. Guinea grass. The answer is A. Kudzu. Pangola, African star and Guinea grass. Those are carbs. Legumes are protein plants. So the kudzu is the protein plant. Which is a Question 49. Concrete floors in pig pens are gently sloped into A. Prevent feed spillage B. Facilitate easy cleaning C. Prevent animals from slipping D. Encourages animals to move around The answer is B. Facilitate easy cleaning Question number 50. Which breed of pig is best noted for being excellent mothers, producing large litters and having a deep body? A. Duroc B. Landrace C. Amsha D. Large White The answer is B. Landrace The difference between the Landrace and the Large White is that the large white the ears are erect while the land race the ears are flopped over the eyes question number 51 which of the following groups represent breeds of poultry a barbados black belly persian blackhead dorpa b leghorn plymouth rock new hampshire c shane and tuggen bird anglo nubian d land race hampshire jersey the answer is b leghorn plymouth rock new hampshire question number 52 during the actual process of artificial insemination which of the following is not used? A. Bull B. Gloves C. Sperms D. Syringe The answer is A. Bull Question number 53 The term gestation can be defined as the A. Act of giving birth B. Union of eggs and sperms C. Release of eggs from ovaries D. Time period during which pregnancy lasts The answer is D. Time period during which pregnancy lasts Question number 54 Which of the following is not a good sanitation practice in bridal production? A. Changing the football regularly B. Screening all windows and doors C. Drying and reusing all litter at intervals D. Cleaning the poultry house with disinfectant The answer is B. Screening all windows and doors If you do that, you will have no ventilation And ventilation is very important to keep the litter dry Question number 55 Two diseases affecting rabbits are A. Mastitis and polarum B. Coccidiosis and snuffles C. Bronchitis and brucellosis D. Coccidiosis and Newcastle The answer is B. Coccidiosis and snuffles Question number 56 Which of the following are not external parasites? A. Lice B. Mites C. Ticks D. Round worms The answer is D. D. Round worms Question number 57 Pollen carried to the hive is high in water content This water is driven off by A. Heat build up by the sun in the hive. B. Workers who use it for honey production. C. Incessant movement of the workers' wings. D. Heat produced by the body temperature of the bees. The answer is C. Incessant movement of the worker bees' wings. Remember that the pollen is not used for honey production. The pollen is the protein and minerals for the bees. The honey is made from nectar and they use their wings to take out excess water out of the hive. Question number 58. Which of the following are a common external pest of bees? A. Ants B. Mice C. Frogs D. Termites The answer is C. Frogs Question number 59. Which of the following combinations of value-added products can be obtained from pigs? A. Jerk Mutton Veal Arm B. Bristles Bacon Arm Jerk C. Steak Manure Leather Pork D. Manure Meat Meal Offers Nuggets The answer is B. Bristles Bacon Arm 
jerk. Question number 60. The most economical time to slaughter a rabbit is A. 1 to 2 months. B. 3 to 4 months. C. 5 to 6 months. D. 7 to 8 months. The answer is B. 3 to 4 months.